Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Jina langu ni Tabia Jetride natokea Ufaransa. Nilifika hapa Jumapili nikashuhudia gisi niligonjwa na gisi Mungu alinisaidia kupitia mtandao. Na wewe ulishuhudia uli, uli siku ile Jumapili? Ndiyo. Ndiyo wewe ulikuwa unasema kichwa kina kinagusumbuaga na no, 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 kikoa au ukifanya chafya eh. inatoka kitu kinanuka. Ah. Twende. Mm. Nikatoa nani oja yangu juu ya mtoto yule mwenyewe nilisema ananuka kinywa sana. Ndio. Baba akasema huyo mtoto vile ananuka kinywa kisha siku tatu nani kinywa yake kitageuka rangi na mtaona gisi atakuwa. Tukasali hapa tukamaliza ibada wakati narudia nafika kunyumba. Sana nafika kunyumba nikapendelea nimuite mama yake ni juu ya habari ya watoto gisi banachinda nikamuita Chantale habari ya kwenu akasema mama mzuri lakini mie naona mambo moe ya ajabu mimi ah, ni mambo gani aseme Francine kinywa yake chote kinageuka kinakuwa rangi nikamuuliza hiyo rangi ilianza saa gani akasema hiyo rangi inaanza hapa mama saa 8 mimi ase kweli ase sawa niisha kutumia foto na njo foto hii Natumia picha. Naisha kutumia picha ndiyo. Na njoo picha hii ya huyo mtoto mweni sema kinywa chake kinanuka kenye baba alisema mtaona kinywa chake kinageuka rangi. Oh my god. Eh, onyesha huko. Huyo ndio mtoto ambaye kinywa chake kilikuwa kinanuka mm -hmm. na, 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 na Mungu alisema kitageuka. Kitageuka rangi. Na, na kikawa hivyo. Na kikawa hivyo na mama yake akanitumia hiyo picha. Nikamwambia nika basi tulia kwanza tutaona. Leo asubuhi naamka tena namuuliza sasa habari ya huyo mtoto ni je? Ase mama, tangu jana usiku na leo hiyo harufu ya kinywa sisikie. Amen. Amen. Kama ulisikia kitu Bwana anasema, "Bwana Yesu makofi yashangwa kabisa." Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. This is an feedback testimony. She was here Sunday testify for herself. She had a problem wherever she sneezes, yeah, some sort of a, a pill will come out of her nose and it will smell very very bad. She had a, a, a grandchild that had the same problem. Her, his mouth was stinking. And as a man of God told her, tell your family to watch the testimony of today. And then after three days, that child gonna feel some sort of sour, like a person who took lemon, ate lemon. And after that, the smell would disappear. And she's here to confirm that. The same day she called the mother of that uh, child, and the mother say, I see something different with the mouth of my son. And the, the color of the mouth starts to change. But yesterday, the mother confirmed that the smell that was they were hearing before, it's, it's have stopped. We give glory to God for that. Kwa hiyo harufu ime, imeondoka. Harufu asesisikia harufu tangu jana usiku mpaka leo asikia harufu. Lakini akatoa hitaji akasema, "Umwambie baba Sumbi anisaidie. Aba toto mmoja yuko na miaka kumi huyu na mdogo wake miaka munane. Huyu wa miaka munane kila juma anawakisha mwili moto. Na biko na madineti yenye badipatia huko juu ya macho. Na yeye anasema, "Umwambie baba Sumbi anisaidie. Niko peke yangu nitafute mwenzi wa kuikaa naye." Njoo shida yenyewe nilitolea nikwambie. Mbona mimi muda wangu pia unaendelea kufatana na makanuni tunaishi huko nilipenda niwaage hivi nitarudia nashukuru Mungu <laughs> Hebu mpe Yesu makofi Yapo Jesus <laughs> Kinywa cha mtoto miaka mingi sijui ilisema miaka mingapi ilikuwa akiteseka mm -hmm. Na wewe pia ulikuwa unateseka Jumapili wewe umetoa testimony yako mm -hmm. Na Mungu akaniambia mtoto huyu itakuja kutokea ladha baada ya siku tatu itatokea ladha ya nini? Limau. Ya limau nikasema lemon. Na kutoka hapo kinywa cha huyo mtoto siku tatu kita, harufu itaondoka. Itaondoka. Na, na ndio maana amepitolewa picha hii hapa na mama amekuja kushuhudia angeshuhudia ange labda kwa voice huko angesema labda watu wanashukushuku lakini huyu ni Mungu alia hai alikuwa anasema juu ya neno lake. This is a life testimony from our living God because everything have happened exactly like how God spoke to the man of God on that Sunday. Sijui ni semeni. Lakini baba nakushukuru. Father thank you. 
Asante kwa matendo yako ya ajabu. Thank you for your good deeds. Ambayo watu wako walioteseka muda mrefu mkono wako si mfupi uliwagusa. That your people have been suffering for many years but your hand are not short not to serve. Na neno lako likatujilia madhabahuni ikanena ikawa. And you send your word to the man of God on the altar he spoke and it, it manifested. Ni wewe bwana. It's you Lord, it's you Lord. Kwa hiyo ana mtoto mwingine asante. Ni ana mtoto mwingine ambaye ana watoto wawili. Mdogo huyu alikuwa ananuka kinywa eh, na mwingine mdogo. Mm. Mdogo anafanya nini? Kila Juma anagonjwa mwili moto. Kila Juma atapa niambia sio kwa mwili moto. Kila Juma mwili unakuwa moto. Moto sana. Unakuwa moto kwa homa, matakuwa moto kwa kwa kujikuna. Sa vile homa, sa vile homa. Kwa homa kila Juma Oh. Inafaa gonjo mwili moto sama anaenda kubabeba huko mama au nabakia nao na barudisha meali ni moya moya. Kwa moto, mwili unapata moto sana kila wakati. Na sasa anavyoongea anakufuatilia huyo mama. Eh wakiangalia kwa mtandao wataona. Wataona? Mhm. Wataona. Una, unajuaga kucheza kwa Yesu? Najua. Unaimbaga wimbo gani huko wa Kikongo ambao unaonaga mzuri? Nita mwimbia bwana kwa kuwa yeye ameniona nita nita mwimbia bwana kwa kuwa yeye ameniona nita mtukuza Mungu wangu kwa kuwa yeye ameniona nita nita mwimbia bwana kwa kuwa yeye ameniona 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 piga mikono yako ameniona 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 Sasa wasikilize yako kawimbo tu ulio kuwa naimba kutoka moyoni mwako Kale kawimbo Mulishie hiyo klipu wa wafuatilie kipindichi Iyo wimbo ulio imba Ehe, aimbe na ye arudia hapo nyumbani na watoto mm. Ndiyo bye bye mateso mana mungu wa mungu Haleluya Amen Allow you Let your family hear this song that you sang from your heart And they immediately as they sing the song that you sang Rose. from your heart All the trouble and the problem will be over